Setting up an attendance register, we will go to the Classroom tab. Scroll down to Attendance. And here I've set up where I would have like a classroom attendance or lab attendance. But if I want to create a new register, we'll call this classroom. You can give it a description if you choose, a system scheme, cause for concern. So if you have students that have missed 25% of your classes, you would get a notification when students drop below that. All right, we can allow the students to see this advanced re or this attendance register. And down here, I could go in and enter dates of the classroom. So, for example, September 1. Oops. September 3, so on and so forth down the list. Okay, and this is the order I want to keep it in. And if you wanted to go throughout the entire semester and make sessions for every single class day, you would just uh, say I wanted to add another 25 sessions and then click Add. Okay, so right now we're not going to do that. I'm just going to go ahead and save it and go back to here. And we can see everything that we got is created successfully. So now I'm going to go ahead and close it. All right. Now every day that I want to go in and check whether the students have attended or not, I would click on Classroom Attendance. And then I would just indicate if they were here or not. They're present. Bob was absent. Everybody else was present. So on and so forth. Okay. And I saved that. It's been saved successfully. And I will go ahead and close. And as you can see, it keeps a running tally throughout this semester. All right. The one downside of this is it does not at this time tie into the grade book. So if you want to grade attendance, you would create a separate grade item in the book, in the grade book, and then you would have to transpose what your grade is for the student. All right. If you have any questions about that, please contact Caleb or I in the basement of Cowan Hall in room 110. Thank you.